Praise the Lord, global Christian friends. We are going to uh, look at the beginning of the 14th chapter. This is Bishop Young of uh, the book of Revelation. And we're going to be able to see and understand so many wonderful things that the Lord give us to be able to come into the knowledge of. Uh, we spoke earlier about the adversary making people do things because he controlled the state of the world with the beast. And uh, that's a thing that you need to understand. And we thank God uh, that you see the works of the adversary upon his state of world events during these times. And now we look at the 14th chapter. And he said, I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount of Zion and with him a hundred forty and uh, 4,000 having his father's name written in their forehead. Does that sound familiar? Does that sound familiar? Yes, it does sound familiar because we just read wherein the, the adversary or the beast up from the earth uh, is going to have uh, uh, both small, great, rich, poor, to receive the mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. So we see here that he is just an emulator, isn't he? And he emulates, but I, I want to be able to look at this statement of chapter 14, verse 1, that John said, uh, I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion. And we must understand that and see it and go into it and just appreciate this victory stand of the Lamb on Mount Zion. Now, in the early times, God himself said, uh, I'm going to say unto Zion that thou art my people. And that is at the very beginning of the creation when he wanted uh, to come out. And, uh, let me just make it quite clear that since the beginning of the creation, the adversary has been wreaking havoc on everybody and on everything. You know, that's his nature. His nature, Jesus said of him, he was a liar from the beginning. And uh, that's what he is. Though, you know, he came, the adversary, Jesus said, uh, uh, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But he himself said, I came that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. So we see here him standing on Mount Zion. And you notice what the Apostle Paul said in the 12th chapter. Uh, of Hebrews. I, I'll just uh, go there and read a portion of what he said uh, uh, in Hebrews chapter uh, 12. I'll begin at the 20th verse and come down. Uh, he said, for they could not endure that which was commanded. And if so much as a beast touched the mountain, it shall be stone uh, thrust through with a dart. Now, here's the one. Verse uh, 21. 
uh, coming down, and so terrible was the sight that Moses said, I exceedingly feared and quaked. But the apostle here says, You are not come unto Mount Zion, uh, but you are come unto Mount Zion and unto the city of the living God. Now, coming from Mount Sinai to Mount Zion, oh, what a great understanding that is in 1222 that you are come unto Mount Zion. And we just read where it says, uh, I looked and a lamb uh, stood on Mount Zion. So praise God. It is good to come to the presence of the Lord. Is that right? Come to the presence of the Lord. And uh, as we said from Mount Zion, uh, uh, it goes backwards. But if you want to come, come forward in time, uh, it's Mount Sinai back to Mount Zion at the beginning of the creation of the world. And uh, we need to see, know, and understand. Uh, there's 144,000. Uh, uh, you read that in the seventh chapter, the same book about those that he had called and uh, sealed them and they are to be with the Lamb uh, whithersoever he goeth. And uh, they, with, they are with the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. But we see this victory stand here. But we also see uh, having his father's name written in their forehead. Uh, and we are transferred now uh, to the higher realm where we are able to see, to know, and to understand uh, this thing. Uh, I want to uh, uh, just throw something here uh, 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 about those four horsemen of the apocalypse. Now the Bible lets us know that uh, a horseman, the riders of the horsemen, they are not going to deliver themselves. That's what scripture says. So there is no one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse that are going to be able to deliver themselves. And think about that statement. That's a lot of knowledge and a lot of wisdom in that statement. I'll, uh, 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 I'll just read the last verse here, verse 2. I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. We will get further over into that the next time God say the same global Christian friend. Uh, be blessed in the Lord. We love you. Thank you.